So, so you will see a lot of uh, formula in this talk. Uh, I would like also to tell you that some of them were also found by uh, another team of researchers, so including uh, Dan Benstein, uh, Tanya Lang, and David Coel. So on essentially a similar model what, that, that they call um, twisted Asian curves. Okay, so let's start. Uh, maybe a uh, last comment. So in the last talk, uh, Greg just told you that all tricks to speed up the arithmetic on elliptic curve uh, were exhausted, so I hope that after this talk, you will be convinced that it's not uh, completely true. So. so if you ask a mathematician what's an elliptic curve, so he will tell you that an elliptic curve is a non-singular uh, genus one curve with one uh, rational point uh, on it. So in a more concrete way, you can say that an elliptic curve is given by a Rayer-Swass equation, where all the coefficients are in some uh, field F. And uh, what we are looking to is actually the set of rational points on the curve, that is all the points on the, the field, so that satisfy the Rayer-Swass equation, and here you can see that the point at infinity is always on the curve, so this is our uh, rational point. So if there is just uh, one thing that you have to remember about elliptic curve is that uh, the set of all those points from a group, and so that, that's something which is very useful, so as you will see in a moment, and uh, the natural element is the point at infinity, and so it's quite easy to get, so the, the group law, so it's given by uh, the code and tangent rule. So what do, do we need elliptic curve? So there are a lot of applications, so here are some of them, so they can be used uh, to factor, factorize uh, integer, so there is a very efficient algorithm due to Lenstra. You can also use, so I guess you all know that, you can use elliptic curve for crypto. And a last application for elliptic curve is, the, is when you have to prove the primitive of some number. So again, using elliptic curve, so this is quite efficient. So we have application, and of course, what we want is an efficient way to uh, compute on elliptic curves. So this is the, the subject of this talk. So in, for crypto, so it's useful to use elliptic curve because today there is no way, no, sorry, there is some way, but there are no uh, sub-exponential way to break the discrete log on elliptic curve. So this in turn means that you can use shorter key, and so it means also that the computation are faster. So, there are different ways to speed up the arithmetic. So you can, of course, uh, look at the, the level of the, the finite field. So you can improve the arithmetic of the finite field. And, of course, you will end up with something which is more efficient. But, and there are still uh, some things to do at this level, too. So you can also speed up the elliptic curve arithmetic. So there are different ways to do so. So you can play with the, the curve equation. You can also look at different coordinate system, and here there are some points I would like to address. So remember that uh, we have points, so we have to add points on the curve, and because of the addition law, so you have exactly two set of equations, so one to add points and another set uh, to double a point. And what is very nice, at least for the implementer, is to have just one set to add points. Okay, so when you can use exactly the same formula to add or double points, so we said that the addition is complete. So this is really something which is useful. So first, because it makes the, application, the uh, implementation easy. Uh, second, because also it gives some uh, protection against uh, some side channel attacks, think for example of all SPA type attack. And also, so for example, if you look at some other implementations, so it means that you can save some, uh, some space. So it means also you, you save some money. So I will show you different way to add points. I will present you some complete formula, some unified formula. I will also present you, so sometimes you just uh, need speed, so you don't care about uh, complete uh, formula. So in that case, you may be uh, interesting to have also very fast doubling formula, so I will also uh, show you how this is possible. Um, also, so one way to compute a scalar multiplication 
on elliptic curve, so it's uh, by relying on the, mo the so-called Montgomery ladder. So in that case, you need what we call a differential addition. So again, uh, we can do it fast. And last uh, formula, so I will show you, is uh, how to triple a point. So given some point P, how to compute three times P. So there are many, 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 many different ways uh, to present an elliptic curve. So here are some of them. So maybe you know the first one, so the, the classical restaurant equation, but there are many other ones. So all those ones are uh, valid over a large prime field. Okay, so you see uh, the Hessian curve. So the, this one. So we can do the same. So for a uh, field of characteristic two. So here are some other curves uh, that we know. So again, you can use the rest stress equation, but the Hessian form is also valid and there is also a binary, uh, so binary Edwards curve that, can, that you can use to uh, play on the binary fields. So if you now take a look at the geometric uh, representation of two curves. So first, you may observe that they are indeed elliptic curves, so just one interpoint. And you see at the bottom, so the Asian curve, and that one is quite beautiful. Actually, they are all beautiful because they are uh, very symmetric. So the Asian one is very nice. The same for uh, Edward. So maybe they are the most too beautiful. So maybe you won't agree with that, but uh, I found it beautiful. So, uh, so this is the equation of a uh, nation curve. So now we have to add two points, so x1, y1, x2, y2. So you see that, again, uh, the formula is quite elegant, so they are fully symmetric, and this is not really a surprise if you look at the curve equation. So you can also double a point, so given x, y, and uh, y1, so we have to compute two times the, this point. So again, you see that the formula is quite elegant. So natural elements is the point at infinity uh, 1 minus 1, 0. And you can also observe that uh, to compute the inverse of a point is quite simple, so you have just to swap the two coordinates. So we have a new form, so we can uh, use them for cryptography. And actually, they have been used. So uh, first, you start. A, so the first paper, of course, was the paper by S. So it was a very, very old one. And then the two uh, Chudovsky brothers so play with the, the equation and came with a more efficient uh, way to, to compute on those curves. Uh, they can also be used uh, to emulate. So you can use uh, the addition to emulate the, 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 the doubling. Uh, you can also use Asian curve uh, in a parallel way. So it, it uh, fits nicely in that setting. And also, you can play with the coordinates, so not just presenting the point with the classical x, y, and z coordinate, but you can add uh, more coordinates to get uh, more efficient arithmetic. So if we look at the startup form, so the one we know today, so you see that it's quite fast. So you just need 12 multiplication to add two points. And if you have enough memory, so it means that you can use extended coordinates. So in that case, you, can, you see that you can trade uh, some multiplication against some uh, squarings. Problem is, so the same as for uh, the Restras uh, equation, so you cannot use as is the same formula to uh, double a point or to add two different points. So of course, because of that, <coughs> sorry, the addition law is not complete. So you cannot use the addition law to, for example, double a point, but also you cannot add two points if their difference is a point at infinity. Also, it's not possible to represent uh, all elliptic curve uh, using this model because you have to assume that there is a point of order three on your curve. And the converse is not true, so it's not because you have a point of order three that you can use uh, this model. So we will 
generalized Gaussian model. So we just add one parameter, so parameter of C. So in the Gaussian case, C is equal to one. So this is what we call the generalized Gaussian curves. So because we would like to avoid <laughs> it was for you. <laughs> so because you'd like to avoid division, so we look at the, the projective form. <laughs> I have competition, so it's difficult to, to ask you to stare, so to listen to elliptic curve, and there's some nice things happening there. No, it's not interesting. <laughs> So, um, what did I say? So there's some point on the curve, so uh, at infinity. So the natural element, so we can choose one minus one zero. And again, you see that to inverse a point, so it's quite easy, you just have to swap the x and uh, y coordinates. So now if we have to develop the, the addition law, so because we have this isomorphy, uh, sorry, this isomorphism with the regular addition uh, model, so it's easy to, to get uh, the addition law on this model. So to add two points, so we have this, so which is exactly the same as for the regular addition uh, model, and to double a point, so the only difference is that you see uh, parameter C, so in the equation, which is equal to one, of course, on the usual uh, Asian model. So, of course, we can do exactly the same uh, using projective coordinates. So, as I told you before, so the problem is that you cannot use that one to double a point. So, we have to find something else. And actually, this is quite easy. So, if you have two points, P1 and P2, so there is uh, point T, so which is uh, point of order three. So I can define point Q1, which is equal to P1 plus T, and point Q2, which is equal to P2 minus T. And in, instead of computing P1 plus P2, so we'll simply compute Q1 plus Q2. And because T minus T is equal to zero, so the result will be the same. So now we just plug Q1 and Q2 in uh, equation one, and we have this. And the good news is that this one is unified. So it means that you can use this one to double a point. So if you now swap, so the order of the two points, so instead of computing P1 plus P2, you compute P2 plus P1. So you have another set uh, of formula. And so as for uh, the regular Asian model, so you see that that one also is uh, very efficient. So there's just one more uh, multiplication by some constant. So this is true over a large prime field and also over uh, a binary field. So you see that if you can now compare it uh, with the other one, so you see that is quite competitive. So, of course, it uh, cannot be faster than the regular Asian one, but uh, this one is more general because uh, whenever you have a point of order three, you can use uh, uh, the, last, the last form. So, so far, we have unified formula. So, what we, we, what we really want to have is complete formula. So, we are almost close to that. So if you now take a look at the three torsion, so you can write the three torsion as the union of three sets, so the set of point of infinity, and set T1 and T2. So remember that the first, the first equation I add, so this one. So this one I cannot use it when the two points, the difference of the two points is a point at infinity. And this one, so uh, equation two and equation three, so I cannot use that one when the difference of the two points is in T1 or in T2. So, 
So, if now C is not a cube, in that in, in the in the uh, in the field, so in that case, the addition law is complete. So it means that you can you 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 can use it to add points, to double points, and there are no exceptions. So whatever the, in, the, the two input points, you, you, you can use the very, the very same uh, formula. So you just have one. And this is easy to see. So if you look at the definition of T1, you see that when C is not a cube, so the set of rational points in T1 is empty. And remember that the, the formula was valid when the difference of the two point was not in T1. So it's quite easy to see. So of course, uh, addition law is complete, so there are no exceptions. And also, of course, so, so when C is not a Q, you can use uh, this format, so that they, are, uh, they are complete. But you can also work in a subgroup uh, H, which is uh, digit one from T1, and again, uh, the formula will be complete. So here are two examples. So the first example is when Q is, so the cardinality of uh, the finite field is equal to one mod three. And when C is not a cube, so in that case, the addition is complete. And another example is when you work in a subgroup, which is not a multiple of three. So in that case also, addition is complete. Okay, so that was one point. So something we use also in crypto is uh, the Montgomery ladder. So again, because it is very efficient, and on top of that, it is also resistant uh, against uh, side channel attacks, a simple side channel attack. So it's a good way to, to compute a scalar multiplication. So here, even a point P, X1, and YY, so I will represent it in a compact way by W. So because uh, you see that the expression of W is symmetric, so uh, in X and Y, W of P is equal of W of minus P, because uh, computing the inverse just means to swap the X and Y coordinates. So if I have to double a point uh, using the W uh, coordinates, so here is the, the formula. So if you use, as usual, uh, a projective form, so you see, again, that it is uh, quite efficient. So we just need one multiplication, three squaring, and uh, two multiplication by uh, some constants. So this is for the doubling, uh, not for uh, adding two different points. So I have to assume that I know their uh, difference. So I have to compute W1 plus uh, W5. And so again, so you see that this is quite fast to evaluate. So using a projective form, so we just need a six, sorry, six multiplication, one uh, squaring, and one multiplication by a constant. So again, so you see that this is very competitive. So for a binary field, so we just need uh, seven multiplication, four squaring, and uh, one or three multiplication by a constant. Sum up. So uh, we presented so uh, a generalized uh, Asian form, so which is quite useful because first, uh, whenever you have a point of order three, you can use that form. It's possible to uh, derive a complete uh, addition on those curves. The arithmetic is efficient, and this is uh, especially true uh, when working on a field of characteristic two. So thank you for your attention.